Hare Krishna. So today we are going to discuss the significance of Dhanatrayodashi. Dhanatrayodashi is also called the Dhanvantari Trayodashi. And the special worship is offered to the Lord Dhanvantari, who, is, who has also offered the Ayurveda. He is the Lord of Health. Right? So we know Lord Dhanvantari appeared from the churning of the milk ocean. So there were different things were coming out from the churning of the milk ocean, just like the Parijata tree and different different kinds of flowers and different different kinds of animals, like a cow and horses and elephants and in fact Lakshmi Devi also appeared from there. And when Lakshmi Devi garlanded over the Lord Vishnu, then all the de the demons were morose, you know, because they were they were they were wanting Lakshmi Devi, and now. This again started churning, hoping that something beautiful again will come out. And now, something really amazing came out of that. And that is, Dhanvantari came. And his beauty is described, he was really beautiful with a, <clears throat> a stout figure. And he was specially carrying one jug, which, which was filled with the nectar. And that was actually the culmination of the whole milk churning Past time, everyone was waiting for that. And when he came out without thinking of anything, the demons snatched uh, that jug, jug of nectar from the Dhanavandari and they started running. And demigods were thinking, now oh, what to do? No, we did all, uh, we brought all the Mandar mountain to here and then we brought the Vasuki here and then we started churning the, the milk ocean and we got this nectar but that nectar is now stolen away by the demons uh, which was the whole fruit of this churning of the milk ocean. Now they were really sad but Lord Vishnu appeared there and he told, no, do not worry, you will surely get the uh, nectar to drink, do not, do not worry like that. So, you know, so demons were started fighting now amongst them. Who will drink the nectar first? And those who were strong demons, they were suppressing the lower demons, the, the weak demons. They were telling them, you know, you, you can't drink the nectar. We will drink the nectar first and then you. So they were st started fighting amongst them and beating amongst them. And then Lord Vishnu, meanwhile, took the beautiful form of a girl, a lady whose name was Mohini Murti and her beauty was so charming that just by looking at her, people were attracted towards her. Uh, all the demigods, uh, all the demons also got attracted towards her and they just wanted the Mohini Murti. They started running after her. They forgot about the nectar and now the Mohini told them you know, that you please give me this nectar, I will distribute amongst every uh, uh, we, all of you equally so do not worry and they trusted her and so she made them sit into the two, two rows one row was with the, uh, of the demigods and other row was of the demons and she started serving only demigods first so demons were thinking you know she will come she is so nice girl she is so nice lady she will surely offer us so she they were not doubting her actually and she served all the demigods but some of the demons started doubting. Hey, she's only serving the, 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 the demigod. She's not serving us. And now the two demons named as a Rahu and Ketu, they sat in the, uh, in the line, in the queue of the demigods. And they also received some drops of the nectar and they drank that nectar. But immediately, some of the demigods could understand they are the demons. And Lord Vishnu immediately appeared there and severed their head. So that nectar could not go under their head like that. So this story signifies the Lord's reciprocation with his devotees. So this is a significant message of uh, Dhanvantari Trayodashi or Dhanateras. How Lord loves his devotees. Actually, you know, Lord says in the Bhagavad Gita, Samoham Sarvabhuteshu. I am impartial to any, everyone. I don't you know, discriminate between anyone. Everyone is loving to, uh, I take care of everyone like that. But actually, he is very careful or he is very much affectionate towards his devotee. Just see, you know, he, to, to uh, reduce the moroseness of uh, the demigods, 
uh, he immediately took the form of a mohini murti and he immediately took the jar uh, which was full of the nectar and he only offered to the demigods and there was no question of a demons because the demigods means who always follow the lord and demons means who always defy the lord and his rules so one significant message we can learn from here that we should become the devotee of the lord and relish the nectar of his holy name and holy katha holy stories thank you very much hare krishna